Hey everybody, what we have here is a convectional toaster oven by Black & Decker. All mechanical control and very easy to operate, as you can see right there. Um, the, the dimensions for this toaster oven are it's um, 21 inches wide, 14 inches deep, and 10 inches tall. So it's not the biggest you can get, but it is certainly a decent size, I think, for, for where, it's, where it's located. Here's a microwave for it next to, uh, uh, next to it, just for a little bit of comparison. Um, it's very simple to operate. Uh, inside you have your usual stuff. You have your rack, you have a baking pan, and you also have your crumb tray on the bottom. The crumb tray is pretty interesting. I'll get to that in a little bit. This has um, interesting elements. I have seen elements like this on a toaster that we used to have way back. They're kind of like clear in design. Same with the with the two top ones right there. Don't know how you can see that, but yeah, they're up there as well. Um, they, they do work very well. Just they don't really glow as much as you would, as much as the other ones would, but they do still do their job certainly. Um, over here, you have three levels you can put the rack on. This is the bottom, this is the middle that it's on right now, and up top, you can see it says broil only. That's the top section for right there. And yes, this oven can do bake, broil, and toast. Um, in baking mode, just the bottom coils operate. In broil, just the top ones. And for toast, both the top and the bottom operate. And uh, here, I'll take this out, you can see a little bit more of it. Um, yes, the inside is pretty clean, because we haven't really used it yet, so... Obviously, as you use it more and more, that will change. What's interesting, what's interesting is the middle um, section has a little stop there. So when you pull the rack out, it holds right there. Which isn't really a bad thing in case you're ever baking anything in here and you only want to put this out a certain amount and not, and not have it drop out. That's, not a, that's, a, that's really not, not a bad thing to have. Oh, yeah, and the, the, the crumb tray is pretty interesting. So it's in there right now, but the way you actually take it out is down here. That's a pretty interesting design. Now, initially, I was I was concerned about that because I wasn't sure if there was like a lip in there that would have the crumbs catch on the inside edge as you're pulling this out. If you know where I'm getting with that, but I, I did try um, you know with some poppy seeds myself as an example, and when I pulled this uh, crumb tray out, they all came out with the tray itself. So that was good. That wasn't that was my initial concern about it having pulled out from the outside like that. But I think I think that's pretty cool, honestly, um, how they have it uh, set up as such. Over there on the inside, you may notice um, a, like a kind of roundish vent right there, and the vent right here. Can I pull this? Uh, doesn't appear much. Okay, um, that's where the con con convection fan is. The fan takes air in from there and uh, blows it out the top. Now the fan only operates um, in baking mode. If you use broil or toast, the fan doesn't run. Only in, only in baking mode it runs. That is one interesting thing about the. Um, about the controls here, is that you actually have a separate timer for the baking and broiling options, and then one for toasting. So they're actually separate from one another. I've actually, I've never really seen something like that before, so that is pretty interesting. One thing I love about this is that each timer has its own bell, if you listen carefully. Do you hear the two different tones? That's just awesome. I thought that was one of the coolest things I saw when I noticed that this um, toaster oven has its own uh, timers like that. As a matter of fact, here's your um, thermostat right here, and this mechanical control. Hear the clicking? Um, and you have a status light that's on whenever it's running, obviously. The interesting thing is that in order for, um, let's say, for example, you want to toast something, um, if you put the temperature in, in anywhere but toast, uh, if you notice, I'll turn the, uh, the toast timer... And notice how the light didn't come on. I'll put it to toast. See how it comes on like that. So that is one interesting thing about it is how um, is how uh, in order if you want to use the timer for toasting, you gotta put it in toast. If you want to use the timer for the baking and broiling, it has to be in there. So really, I think that's actually a pretty cool thing. And considering it's mechanical, I think it's also one of the cooler things about it too. So I like how, I really like how it has its own functions like that. That is pretty interesting. Um, one important thing to note is that um, whenever you use a toaster oven for the very first time, what you should do is um, <clears throat> you should run it for 20 minutes with nothing in it, okay? So, like, you know, no uh, food, because there could be some stuff in there from the factory that may need to burn off. So if you, if you put it into toast mode and then run it for 20 minutes, 
it should burn up, burn up anything that's in there, and then it should be fine. This one's a little bit more restrictive, again, because of the separate timers, because this does advance faster than the other timer does. But again, that's only a one-time thing, so it's really not a big deal. You can just turn this to 20, use the toast um, timer to um, make it run, and then if this is about to expire, just turn it again until that goes to zero, and then, you know, you're all set. Uh, all right, so uh, let's go ahead and put something in the oven. All right, so over here we have some uh, store brand white bread uh, from Stop and Shop. So what we'll do is um, we'll put in uh, two we'll put in two slices, and then we will see how it toasts. Now I don't like my bread too toasted usually, but since I'm doing this for demonstration purposes, I'll go um, a little bit more than that. Um, this is the medium toast setting. That's the darkest one, obviously. We'll see how the medium setting does. So let's pull this out, and we'll put the uh, two slices right on the rack. That's what it says to to, to do. Okay, put it back in, and uh, we'll just set them a little bit more, I guess. All right, so now what we do is um, close the door, put the thermostat to toast. That click right there is for toast, and then we'll set the timer to the medium setting. And you can hear it clicking. Did it go? Did it go a little bit further. That's okay. Um, yeah, you can see the uh, status light uh, is currently lit up. And you may be able to hear the uh, the toaster oven uh, humming a little bit because, you know, all the all four coils are energized now. Uh, can't see much other up there right now. It has to warm up. So let this warm up some, and then we'll see how it's doing. Okay, timer's uh, still clicking along. Um, you, you can definitely smell the bread toasting. That, 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 that is one smell I love, is toasting bread. It's really nice. Now again, you may notice you can't. You can see a little bit of orange on the rear bottom coil. You see that, and maybe a little bit on the front here. But now if I go down below, I hope you can. No, oh, it's really hard to see that. Let me use my hand. Let me see if it's hard for me to get that for you guys. But um, the, the 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 upper coils are certainly glowing. Oh, okay, maybe now you can see it. They are glowing a little bit more orange than the um, bottom ones, which is how it works in every toaster oven. It always seems like the top ones always glow more than the uh, than the uh, bottom ones. But it's definitely doing its job. I can smell the uh, bread toasting. Oh, you know what? Actually, um, it's starting to darken a little bit. Yeah, definitely doing the job. Okay, we'll let this get near the end, and then we'll come right back. Oh, yeah, that's definitely toasting well. Should momentarily uh, turn off. Oh, just like that. Good timing. Uh, all right, and so um, actually, um, there is um, toast um, does have its own temperature limit, and I have heard this oven actually click it before and then click back on. So it is good that the thermostat does work well, where it will go all the way up and then adjust, you know, go on and off accordingly. It doesn't just stay on all the time. So there's the uh, toasted bread that was on the uh, medium setting. All right, obviously you want to be careful when you take this out because it's very hot. So I've got a plate over here. Let's open this up. And uh, the handle is cool to the touch, so that's good. Use a pot holder to take the rack out. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah, so so for medium toasted bread, I'd say that's uh <clears throat> I'd say that's perfect. So get the plate and we'll slide these out. Ah, right on the plate. They do get a little stuck to the rack, I'm noticing, so you probably just got to maybe spray it down or something initially. It may not be a bad idea to do that. And there's your medium toasted bread. <clears throat> I'd say that came out very good. They look a little bit darker on the camera than they do in person, but um, if you ever want to toast bread in here, I'd say that's the perfect setting to use is the medium one, actually. Yeah, you can see all the crumbs just from the toasting. <laughs> so it begins. And you just slide it back in there and then close it up. Well, everyone, there is your um, Black & Decker Mechanical Convection Toaster Oven. Very, very happy with this purchase. I'm really glad that we got the mechanically controlled one. You know, um, it's really, um, really nice and reliable. As a matter of fact, they had an electronic control one that was kind of around similar design as this. That was at least $100 to $200 more. No thank you, okay? These mechanical controls are probably going to be a lot more reliable than the, than the electronic one that's going to be out here. And I'm very happy with this purchase. It definitely toasts bread well, as you can see. Very nice. And um, operates extremely well. Nice, good size. Easy to operate. And just works great. <laughs> very happy with it. Thank you very much for watching. And take care.